Success in short-term rentals really lies at the intersection of these three main things. So I've thought about this topic a lot lately, this question, what are the components that make up a really solid short-term rental investment? Because I've talked to several people recently who purchased short-term rentals that I think maybe are overlooking one of these critical components that's gonna lead to a solid short-term rental investment over the long term. So let's dive into the three main components and don't be shy to hit that like button if any of this is helpful to you. Category number one is the one that we tend to talk about and focus on the most, and that is ensuring that the numbers work. So what do I mean by the numbers work? So I talk to people all the time who say, I'm brand new to real estate and I can't find a deal that cash flows, so I'm gonna buy this property knowing that it has negative cash flow, but it's gonna be a great lesson learned for me. Or it cash flows if I clean the property or if I manage the property myself. And that's great. If you like cleaning or you like managing it, we manage all of our own properties because we have a great system in place and we choose to do that because we'd like to save that 25% management fee. However, when I analyze properties and the vacation rental, rental analyzer that I use is at the link below in the description if you wanna download that or some of the other tools that I offer. When I analyze a property, I put in all of the variables, all of the income, and all of the expenses in a way that will allow that property to stand on its own. So if you find yourself filling out your vacation rental analyzer and you're skimping on the expenses or you're plugging in your effort instead of the expense of hiring a cleaner or hiring a manager and the property depends on your effort, then I think you're setting yourself up for failure in the long term. You should plug in the income and expenses in a way that allows the property itself to stand on its own and still provide you enough cash flow after you've done that to support your goal. So if your goal is $1,000 a month per property, then can you get that with the proper expenses in place that will support that property without your own effort? Factor number two that I think needs to coincide with factor number one in order to make a solid short-term rental investment is this idea of downside protection. So anytime I'm about to put down several hundred thousand dollars on an investment, one of the questions that I ask myself is what's gonna happen in a worst case scenario? So for a lot of people with short-term rentals, the worst case scenario is you can no longer use that property as a short-term rental. And there's all kinds of reasons for this. It might be regulation change, economic changes, changes with Airbnb or the OTA platforms. And if that's the case, what's your backup plan? So for a lot of people, it's either selling the property or renting the property on a long-term basis. So are you confident that you can sell that property without losing a whole bunch of money, especially if there's a big economic shift, or could you rent that property as a long-term rental? Over the last several years, there's been a lot of increase around short-term rental rates, nightly rates, and occupancy rates. And that's allowed people to justify purchases based on cash flow alone. And so you can buy a million dollar property and it still cash flows. And so you can justify it and say, well, this is a good investment because it cash flows. But they're ignoring the downside. They're ignoring what happens if all of a sudden things change and the economic conditions that we have today aren't the same next year or the year after that. And I have to change my strategy. Am I going to be sitting on a whole bunch of negative cash flow? And if you build a portfolio based on those types of properties that all are in that same boat and all of a sudden everything shifts and you're sitting on a whole pile of negative cash flow, I think that can sink investors really quickly. The third component that combined with the first two leads to what I think is an ideal short-term rental investment is this topic that we don't talk about a whole lot compared to how much we talk about the investment side of things and the numbers. And that is a focus on how you're going to create or purchase something that provides a really unique experience for your specific guest. How do you inject your soul into your investment? And I think that's the, one of the coolest things about investing in short-term rentals compared to a lot of other real estate investments out there because you can create this experience for your guests that stands apart. And I think this is your superpower. 
power actually as a mom and pop investor compared to the vacasas of the world that the big huge property managers that have thousands of units and every property is just a number on a spreadsheet and they're just stamping them out it's a commodity and that shows through to the guest they know when that's the case compared to somebody who actually cares about that investment and has taken the time to create these unique touches which a lot of times they're not fully scalable you know to a thousand different properties but for you, if you own a handful of properties or even 10 or 20, you can create these touch points that make all the difference in the world for your guests. So a couple examples for us is we'll leave personalized notes that say welcome to that individual's first name. And we say welcome for your anniversary or your birthday or whatever reason they're coming. We've created canvas prints on the wall, these big canvas prints of the whole history of Michigan City where we invest. And it's super interesting for people. It's branded with our brand. And then when we furnish a property, we think through how are we gonna make the guest most comfortable and how is this property gonna be most convenient for them. And as a result, we get a ton of glowing reviews, almost all five-star reviews. People say this is one of the best places we've ever stayed and we're definitely gonna come back. And that's how you build over time, repeat five-star reviews, higher revenue, higher ranking on Airbnb, return guests, all of the benefits that come from excellence. So if you combine the first one, numbers that stand on their own, that support a really great property, and also provide you with, with the cash flow that you need to get to your goal. Number two is downside protection, that this property works in a worst case scenario. And then number three, injecting a cool experience, injecting your soul into that property. If you combine all of those into an investment, I think that's the perfect short-term rental. If this sounds like the type of investment that you'd like to get into, I'd love to help you get started. I work with a handful of people personally to help them get their first high cash flowing vacation rental purchased and set up and cash flowing. And I do that with a very specific program called the First Vacation Rental Investment Blueprint. And if you're interested in something like that, you can book a call with me. Go to www.livingoffrentals.com forward slash call. And that's a link to a quick survey that you can fill out. And then you'll get a link directly to my calendar. You can book a call with me and you can share your goals and see if this program might be a good fit for you. So I hope to talk to you soon and I'll see you in the next video.